In this brief video, I will show you how to use the new Make Code Code Evaluation Beta tool for the Microbit. The Code Evaluation tool is meant to help teachers understand and evaluate students' programs. You can get to the tool at makecode.microbit.org slash dash dash eval. Sign in with a Microsoft, Google, or Clever account. On this main page, you will see a split screen view. On the left is a gallery of different checklists you can use to evaluate common tutorial programs. Or you can create a new blank checklist or import an existing checklist. A checklist is essentially a set of rules with which to evaluate a student program. On the right side of the screen is a place to upload a student project to evaluate using a shared link to the project. Let's pretend I'm a teacher using the Intro CS curriculum and I'm working through uh, Unit 4 on conditionals. One of the activities in this lesson is to code a rock, paper, scissors game. So now my students have submitted their projects to me and I'd like some help in evaluating these projects. In the code evaluation tool, I can click on the rock, paper, scissors pre-built checklist. And this opens in the checklist tab of our window. At the top here, we see the title of our checklist, which is Rock, Paper, Scissors. I also see buttons to export this checklist, print the results, and evaluate the checklist against a program. The Evaluate button is grayed out since there is uh, no project currently loaded. Then below this is a set of rules. Let's take a look at some of these rules. I'll skip over this first Ask AI one, and we'll come back to this. These first couple of rules specify that the program must take in user input and produce an output. These are fairly generic rules and can be met in a variety of ways. An input could be a button pressed on the microbit, or the microbit hearing a loud sound, like a clap. An output could be uh, an icon shown on the screen or the microbit playing a song. The next rule here uh, specifies that the program should include at least one variable, but it doesn't necessarily specify what the variable should be named or what value it should contain. These next set of rules are uh, more specific. They specify that certain blocks should be contained in the program. For example, there should be at least one on shake block, one if else block, and one pick random block. Now let's go up to the ask AI rule at the top of our checklist. As well as these basic rules, you can also ask AI more nuanced questions to help evaluate student programs. In this example question, we ask whether the program stores a random variable, a uh, random value in the variable, and whether it uses the variable within the um, if statement. Okay, so let's test our checklist against some student examples. Here I am in Microsoft Teams and my students have submitted their rock, paper, scissors program to me via these shared project links. So let me go ahead and copy Ashley's program here. And I'll go ahead and paste it in the code evaluation tool. All right. So it looks like Ashley has almost satisfied my rubric. Um, her program does use input and produces output, so those are marked as looked good. Um, but it looks like she did not use a variable in her program. Uh, and it looks like she also used this on button 
uh, pressed block instead of the on shake block that I wanted her to use. So let me go ahead and add some additional feedback for her. Uh, please use a variable to store your random number. And um, please use an on shake block. Okay. Now let's look at what the AI response uh, was to our question. And so it looks like uh, her program does not store a random value in a variable, and it is not used in the conditional statement. And there's a little bit more explanation here. Okay, so let me go ahead and print these results to a PDF file. And then I can go ahead and uh, attach these, um, this feedback and these results um, to Ashley's assignment in Teams. In addition to these pre-built checklists, the code evaluation tool also supports the ability to create your own checklist. I'm going to go ahead and click on New Checklist. Uh, and now let me open up a sample solution here. Now this is a simple counter program where students use the microbit to keep track of points in a game. So let me go ahead and name this uh, counter checklist. And let's add some criteria. I'll add a block used rule and maybe a co comment used rule and then an AI rule. There's also some different additional criteria under code elements to specify the use of loops, functions, and variables, and also under input and output. Uh, but go, let's go ahead and uh, start with these rules first. So in the blocks used rule, I can click to specify which block I would want to use. So let's go ahead and close this criteria so we can see our program. Um, okay, so let's use the show number block. So if I click over here, I can select the show number block. There it is. And let's make sure that's being used at least four times. And let's also ensure that students are using at least two comments in their code. We want their code to be well documented. And it, for the AI question, um, let's ask the AI um, whether or not this program uses a variable. Um, so does this program use a variable to keep track of a score based on user input. Okay, and I can add up to five AI questions per checklist. And I can ask things like, does this program satisfy specific CSTA standards? Or, you know, something as simple as, please explain what this program does. <laughs> All right. So um, let's go ahead and run our checklist against um, the sample program here. And it says, looks good. Yep, we've got four show numbers. We've got at least two comments. And let's see what the AI comes back with. Um, yes, this program uses a variable called counter to keep track of score based on user input and some additional information about how it's used. All right, so everything looks good with this checklist. Now I can use it with my students' submitted projects. The Make Code Code Evaluation tool is currently in beta. We are actively working on new features and functionality, and we want to hear from you. There is a Give Feedback button in the upper right-hand corner of the tool, where you can fill out a short anonymous survey, letting us know how we can improve it. Please try it out at makecode.microbit.org slash dash dash eval and let us know what you think.